All right, we're back. This is a shitty shop, but I'm gonna buy a couple skip sandwiches. Cause I like running fast. One more. Give that to cut. Thank you. Will you need anything else? I'm afraid not. If and you're going to scare, but take care of yourself. That's the plan eventually, yes. Alright, so what did he say? His asshole wife? That's why he won't take me to cross the ocean? Another nice day. Summers always has sunny days. Oh, look! What the fuck is that? You confront the crazed sign. I'm fighting a traffic sign. This is great. Just fucking bend it, hit it, push it down. Twelve thousand. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred experience. A museum. Well, we fucking forgot to go to the Foresight Museum, so I'm not making that mistake. Right now, part of the Scarabaculture Museum is being remodeled. Do you still want to enter? Yes. Three dollars per person. Study hard. Yes. Bumble Bumble. Why would Mr. Spoon from the Foresight Museum try to call me? I bet he just wants to brag about something. Well, let him try. I wonder what he wants to tell me. Bah! I dare him to try and upstage me. Oh, pardon me. I was just talking to myself. I saw a chubby kid about your age here. He looked like he was awfully wealthy. He was being extravagant. Fat fucker, probably. This room is being remodeled, so I can't show it to you. I can't. Well, I usually don't show this room. Once you hit adulthood, you don't understand. I do, however, like jewelry. Perhaps a little, shall we say, under the table deal would be in order? I don't have any fucking jewelry. All right, we got that fucking phone number. That guy randomly gave us the phone number to Club Stoic. Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, Goober, sir, would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We are looking forward to having you here. Thank you. Click. Beep, 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 beep. Didactically speaking, seminal evidence seems to explicate the fact that your repudiation of entropy supports my theory of space-time synthesis. Of this, I am irrefutably confident. You fucking super nerd. You guys can't envision the final collapse of capitalism? Incredible. I finally awaken the inner me, the true self. The patrons of this club are able to stare into their own soul hard enough to burn a hole in their psyche. I'm now comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression into my super ego. I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, or at no time. My it is telling me. Hmm, I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry, I was sleeping. You know, I really want to eat some magic cake. It's a mysterious work of art. I can't get that cake off my mind. There's only one woman who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. Yeah, she's over there at the entrance. Anyway, the absolute irony and study of self-identification is blah blah blah. I don't know what to do. That's Mr. T. You don't understand what the hey everyone is talking about, do you? I don't either, but I try to be patient with the customers. They pay high prices just for a glass of water and the chance to have serious intellectual discussions. Actually, it's an easy business. You want a drink? We only serve water, though. The show? It's already started. Everyone stares at the stone on stage and philosophizes. Doesn't it sound stupid? Yes, very much so. Magic cake. I finally awakened the true me, the inner self. Fucking shut up. Just make me a magic cake. What, what, what? Magic cake? You came all this way just to eat my magic cake? Yes, I did. I see. Okay. Why don't you stop by a little cart up by the beach later? I think it's this way. There she is. I don't know who told you. You came from far off just to eat my magic cake? I thought magic cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in. I used all leftover materials. This is a very special magic cake. Yep, that looks like the food poisoning effect. This is great.
Goober had a dream. It was a very clear and very strange dream. Salam in the Far East. The Palace of Jim, the Crown Prince. Oh fucking, this is where we get Jim. Prince Jim, the time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the palace of the place of emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in this final stage of your training. Use the treasures of the lamb as you wish. Go in peace. Jim opened the chest. Whoa, brain food lunch. Jim opened this chest. Whoa, cup of life noodles. Whoa, brainstone. What the fuck is this? Hello? Is that you, Goober? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Who are you pretending to be? Oh well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you need to have a sense of humor at a time like this. I deposited $4,800 into your bank account. So there's still a bunch in there. Jim needs some experience. Anyway, what do you need from me? Nothing really. Good luck. So that man's a telephone. That must be a terrifyingly invasive and painful surgery. Prince Jim, you're my favorite blush. Tee hee hee hee. I'm pretty sure I'm like ten, old woman. What is immortality? Is it everlasting life? Mm hmm. Very indecisive fellow. Fucking goofy ass looking town. Free poo? Yep, that's officially goofy. Oh, Prince Jim, I'm surprised you're not in training. It seems like that's all you do these days. Why don't you take some time to play with me? I'm so lonely without you. Maybe later. Please come in. Look around the house as much as you want. I'm pretty sure it isn't a fucking choice. I'm the prince. I'm gonna steal your shit. Whoa, it's a bottle of water. That's treasure for you. This country is not doing that good. Oh, Prince Jim, do you have time to play with me? Sure. Happy me, patty cake, patty cake. Everyone fucking loves to play with Prince Jim. I just roasted some garlic and ate it, so the room still stinks. Oh. Well then. I heard that Prince Jim is deeply into moo training. I want to help him if I can. More treasure. Whoa, jar of jelly sauce. You know that what you you know that you do everything well, right? Do do? Oops. Say Prince Jim, are you still popular with the girls? Yes. I hear you're living a more pa serious lifestyle these days. The prince. Everyone wants some. Prince Jim, bless you are such a hunk. Once again, I'm a child and you're very old. Delam restaurant, we accept regular money. I wish I could recover my PP just by drinking water, even though I've never seen him before. I heard that the prince can do that. I guess I need more training. By the way, just what is PP, anyways? We serve water, rice gruel, and those sorts of things. What would you like? Water, some gruel, jelly sauce, brain food lunch. Bye bye. Whoa, bowl of rice gruel. Whoa, bottle of water. So this fucker can get his PP back just by drinking water. And ironically, the American children have to eat candy to get their pee pee back. What the fuck is this? As strange as this may sound, there are statues of rabbits blocking your way. Oh, I'm not going that fucking way. This is Moo, the place of nothingness. People who train here must first clear everything from their mind. If you can make your mind blank and learn the true meaning of Moo, you'll pass through. You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Jim. Long ago, I completed Moo training. I want to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing and learning this high level. I'll see you again. So long. He's fucking, he's got photographer powers. Flying away into the air. Up these fucking ropes. So I just... 
I just meditate. Ah, Prince Jim. I am a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Jim, you must come back with me instead of staying in a place such as this. Your master wishes it. Please rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. Believe what I say, it is the truth. I am the fucking Prince, and I say it's meditation time, woman. Yep, spooky ghost. Prince Jim, I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I am going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? Fucking let's dance. So, Prince Jim, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall take your arms and feed them to the crows. To taking up your arms, do you accept this? I don't fuck around, so yes. Oh. Ah, Prince Jim, without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? Fucking do it. So, Prince Jim, no legs, no arms, and no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you. Do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? Well, I can't fucking walk or anything. Nothing left to lose. So, Prince Jim, now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind, though you probably don't want to allow that, do you? So, you can't answer? You can't even move? Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you also lose any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I will take your mind, Prince Jim. Know that I will possess it. Prince Jim! You have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. Joke's on that fucking ghost, cause all my body parts still work. Maybe talk to some of these ladies, see if all the parts work. No. It'll have to wait till later. Just all the way back up the fucking mountain? Who builds their town on a mountain? Prince Jim, I suppose. Get out of my way, woman. I am proud. You have completed your moo training. There is nothing more to teach you from the holy writings. Prince Jim, I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One named Goober is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Jim. Now that you've completed your training, search out Goober at once. For all beings, for the Earth herself, I pray for growth in the Night of the Four. Might of the Four. Sixteen, oh baby, offense four, defense two, speed two, vitality two, oh baby, IQ three, luck one, sweet, HP twenty two, that rocks, PP eleven. Jim realized the power of shield B. Now he's 17, defense 2, HP 1. He realized teleport A. Now he's 18, offense 2, defense 1, guts 1, HP 2. He realized teleport B. So he just willed himself to level up, and then he willed himself to teleport by standing still. This guy doesn't fuck around. My name is Jim. I am the one who will fight beside you. I am the servant of Goober. I will obey Goober. Goober? My life is in your hands. Probably not the smartest decision. Probably not the smartest decision you'll make in your life, Jim. But Jim joined you. Now we've got all fucking four. What did he bring? Tiny ruby. An old treasure from Delong. When eating, you recover 300 hit points and some PP. A miraculous stone that enables you to concentrate without using your own brain. This is accomplished just by keeping this item. This is great because if you can't concentrate, you can't use PSI. Used by sprinkling over food. It tastes good with any kind of food, thereby increasing the recovery power. An everyday dish in Delam. When eating, you recover 200 hit points just from eating a bunch of fucking rice. Man, take that garbage burger. God, Jim won't fucking save the game. This isn't where you save. You want to go to the museum.
Gubert's your dad. Here's some experience you need. Everyone needs a lot. Just record my journey. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I have created a record of your adventure up to this point. Good night, sleep tight. I'm not actually going to turn it off, but I am going to stop right here.